Alaska lures plenty of fishermen. There are three million lakes in the state. Crescent Lake is glacier fed and it sits in the Lake Clark National Park. This is the centerpiece of the Readout Mountain Lodge. Whether it's sockeye or silver salmon or giant trout, the guides at Readout Mountain will help you catch them. As the morning begins, guests pull themselves out of those comfortable beds to a warm fire in the lodge. Clear skies greet them as they prepare for a day on the lake, a lake filled with fish. Your group uh, has your own guide or guides, and you guys set the pace and the schedule by all means. Fishing is a major draw at Readout Mountain Lodge. Just look at these success stories. There's no excuse for not catching your quota at Readout Mountain Lodge. Due to the fact that we're the only operator out here, you don't have to rush to get to a particular fishing location or be the first one at a trailhead. I mean, this whole area is, is pretty much ours uh, only. And besides, it's your fish story. But with pictures like these, you won't need to embellish unless you want to. Sockeye, red salmon, coho, silver salmon, chinook, king salmon, and pink salmon. You won't be disappointed. The guys really know what they are doing. They fish these rivers and know the holes where the big fish like to hang out. If the salmon won't bite, trophy-sized trout are a good substitute. Lake trout, arctic char, and the dolly varden are all native species at Readout Mountain Lodge. And there's not a lot of competition to catch them. Just kind of cast up in this fast stuff and let it just swing down in this, uh, this softer stuff right there. You don't have to be a skilled fisherman to catch fish around Readout Mountain. The guides really love what they do, and showing you how to love it too is just part of what they do. So I think people come up here, just get away, and just see nature how it's supposed to be. When you're fishing, time slips by. What your watch tells you doesn't matter much out here. You know, this is all national park, so it's gonna stay like this. So it's like, you know, in today's world where, you know, you can, you can pretty much buy anything you want, this is something that, you know, you can't put a price on. In between casts, you look up in any direction and see nothing but those mountains. At the end of the day, back at camp, back at the lodge, the fish stories start to unfold. As the night goes on, the sky is still bright, the stories and the fish get bigger. A lot of times um, we get groups up here that the perfect way to end the day is down by the bonfire and typically after dinner um, people finish their desserts and either grab a cup of coffee or maybe another pint of Alaskan Amber and they'll wander down to the bonfire and we'll have some s'mores and a little bit of uh, guitar or mandolin playing and some singing, uh, maybe a game of horseshoes or two. It's just a, it's just a great time. Um, people share the day's stories and the fish that maybe were 20 inches at lunch then become 30 inches around the campfire at night. Um, and it's, it's just a fun time. I think it's really a great way to end the day.